welcome back um the next data the that next data type we're discussing is the dictionary um a dictionary is very similar to a list in that its purpose is also to store data but the way it stores data is different from a list so a in a list uh let's say a list a list is equal to i'm i'm storing a bunch of data in there they, they can be different they can be I can store a list within a list as well, so I4, stuff like that, okay? In this, if I were to access each each element in this list is assigned um, an index, an integer. So the stuff I access in the, from a list, I access by uh, referring to its index. So at, at index three, that's the fourth position, lies this list, and then inside that list, so I'm, so right here, list, list index 3 I'm referring to this list right here and then from inside that I can retrieve the first from the first element which is a 5 so basically that's how lists work right so uh, because you're if you're getting the data by these assigned indexes for a dictionary a dictionary is formed by these uh, curly braces and in this each element is not automatically given an integer in fact instead you have to yourself give it a key that you can later use to refer to and the keys in this are not integers they're strings so if i do name colon sabir and then i do so here name would be the key and sabir would be the data this is analogous to how for in this list one is the data and the key is zero it's a zeroth index so this list over here this would be the value so sabir over here the data is the value and then the key for this value would be three because that's what i'm using to obtain it so i'm going to build upon this list i'm going to say name then i'm going to say subject notice how the keys are strings and and uh, the value can be any data type so a dictionary can also store multiple different data types but the keys have to be strings so subject let's say python and affiliation alt x all right so i have made a dictionary now if I, if I want to retrieve python from here i can do dict and then i can say give me the subject of dict dict1 and it'll return python um, another thing is, and I can also, and in a list, for example, this list goes up to index 3. So I can, if I try to do list 4 is equal to 4, I cannot do that because in a list, if the index does not exist, you cannot manipulate it. You either have to append stuff onto it or uh or you and and if you want to um, manipulate the data that's already there that you can do so list um oh wait i think i made an error i'm gonna do list one list one so the fourth index which does not exist right now so it says list assignment at index out of range so this only goes up to three i cannot assign something which is on index four because index four does not exist in this list uh, if I want to manipulate something that does exist in this list, so for example 0 0.5, which is at index 2, list 2, I can change that. I can change it to a 0 0.3. I keep making this error. So now, list 1, list 1 has 0 0.3 instead of 0 0.5 so i can manipulate the data is already there but i cannot add more data by assigning a value to the next index because the next index does not exist but for a dictionary in a dictionary not only can i change data so let's change the name so right now i'm referring to name i'm going to set it equal to my name backwards so now if i look at dict oh i have to print it out print dict one now the name has been changed but over here how this is different from list is that i can add on new keys without it giving me an error so like even if the key does not exist i can do dict one and i can make a key by um qu 
qualification and I can set it equal to self taught now if I take a look at dict1 it has another key and another value so even though this did not exist at first Python made it for me as soon as I did this assignment and it assigned the value to this key that I passed in um, and then uh, with dictionaries slicing and indexing do not work because those require index because those work with the uh, integers so there you define a start position and end position and steps but since a dictionary is uh, basically the data in a dictionary is referred to by using strings you cannot you, it cannot go in an or in a set order that's why slicing and indexing does not work but uh, you instead treat data using strings um, there is another thing that if I try to retrieve something which isn't there so let's say dict one and I try to retrieve my favorite food then I'll throw a key error because the food does not exist but if I say dict one food equals pizza now it has made that key and assigned it the value pizza so I can now refer to it and get back pizza and like I said before a dictionary can hold multiple different um, data types so I can make a dict2 and may basically assign it let's let's just assign it by number so these numbers that I'm using they're also strings they're surrounded by quote marks but I can serve but they can serve as valid keys so the first one is going to refer to the integer one then I can do two is going to refer to um, my name as a string then the third one can refer to another dictionary which can have a four which refers to a list which has the which has six seven seven point eight okay so this is a complicated real complicated data structure but let's but let's go through this so let's say I want to access let's access each of these elements all the way down to the deepest part of this let's access the integer one so that lies at the key of one that returns one then I can access the integer the inter the the my then I can access name which lies at the key two. There we go. Then I can access this entire dictionary by which lies at the key of three. And now I have this dictionary, uh, but inside, if I want to access the list inside this dictionary, I can chain on another square bracket. Uh, square bracket. So I can say from dict two. Uh, the what the return me the object that's at that at that corresponds to the key three so that returned a dictionary and then from this dictionary return me the object that corresponds to key four that returned the list and then from this list I can access uh, each of these by their respective uh, index which is an integer so let's say I want to access six I say it's at index zero I get six I want to access 7, it's at index 1, I get 7, I want to access uh, 7.8, that's at index 2, and I get 7.8. So that's how you chain on these, um, that's how you chain these on to access deeper and deeper parts of a data structure. And this was the difference between a dictionary and a list. That a dictionary is unordered, so you cannot slice or uh, index it because it does not use integers to refer to the data it holds it, it, uh, it uses strings and strings well they don't follow a set order so yeah this has been an introduction to dictionaries they also have a whole bunch of useful methods that we'll look into in the next video